anybody on. What's up, Ryan? Where's everybody else? It only says zero people watching. That's weird. So, everybody looks like they're on, but why the hell's YouTube saying this? There we go. Alright, what was the order again? Shit. I lost it. Fuck balls, where is it? It's uh, Brian, Brian, Marcus, and Brian. So uh, go ahead, Brian. Pick one, two, three, four, five. You up? And Cisco's not here, but he picks last. So fuck him. Cisco's last. This is affirmative action. Mr. Pritchett, you pick which box you want. Lag is so bad on this dude. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank Rick, though. He gave me these for free. Three. Brian, let's book number three. Let's pull you some garbage. Ah, shit. Hold on. Damn. Sorry. The hell? Oh. I got my trash bin. All right, let's do this. No break is worse than Bowman draft break. Yeah, Rick is a really cool guy. Um, I told him not to do this, but he insisted. So. No, we're definitely going to thank you, Rick. None of you guys had to do anything for that. And all you guys were really cool and I actually felt bad. Speaking of that product, um, the owner of that company called me again today. And um, I don't know. I guess he uh, really likes me. I mean, he's a really cool guy. Um, but he called me and he's like, if you want to break more of that stuff, just tell me. And I told him that you guys really liked it, the friends and foes. He's got some other awesome shit coming out that he was telling me about. It's coming out around uh, August, the, around the National. Um, there's this product called Origins, or Originals, that's what it's called, um, that he does every year. And it's sort of a lower end product. Like, they did uh, T206s, then they did uh, Gaudis, and they did Play Ball. And what they do is they, they get autographs and they take the original cards. And they put it, they get it graded by PSA and the auto authenticated. And the products sell really well. And there's like crazy autos in it, like Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb and shit. Well, this year they're doing um, 1970s. So they're getting um, Hall of Famers from the 70s. And it's like a set that you build. And there's certain SPs and stuff. And if you build the whole set and you log it into PSA, the company will send you like, two thousand dollars or something like that but even better than that they're doing this other thing that totally blew my freaking mind when he told me about this it's called kings or something like that and um it's coming out around the same time and it's sort of high end it's like 300 a box but um you get two autos in it 
a gold and a silver. And um, the auto, the checklist for the gold was insane. It was like Tris Speaker, uh, Rogers Hornsby, like just every like pre-World War II guy that you could think of whose auto is like impossible to get. There's like only 300 boxes maybe told me, but there's 10 Babe Ruths, five Ty Cobbs, like uh, just it's incredible shit and you get a gold and a silver and the golds are like the really crazy ones and then the silvers are like lower but even that checklist was nuts it was like stan usual um ted williams like guys like that and the, the guy puts out a crazy cool product um so here we go this is brian so when that stuff comes out i'm definitely talking to him and getting some of that so, Brian, just let me know if you want base or not. I'm going to put all the chrome aside. But if you don't want the paper, just let me know. But I'm telling you right now, that stuff sounds sick. I mean, it's it's different, so it'll be a little harder to break. It won't be like um, normal stuff. But I know a lot of you guys are into cut autos. I think anything that's old like that is really cool to me. Um, so when he was telling me about it, I was like almost drooling, but I figured a bunch of you guys would like it too, but I had the dude's phone number and he even hooked me up with a guy who has a ton of leftover, uh, friends and foes and other historic auto stuff that he wants to sell at cost. Here is your auto, <laughs> Cam Gibson. So I'm going to call that guy and uh, see what kind of deal he can work me and try and get some more friends and foes. And then um, I also have a phone number for the VP of sales for that company. who has He sells wax to um, LCSs all in this region. And he said he can start hooking me up with um, stuff that you can only get your brick and mortar, which is pretty cool. So, kind of excited to be able to make those kind of connections. That. So, your auto was a Cam Gibson. Nothing crazy. You got a blue Thomas Zapucci out of 150. Putting all the chrome aside, at least that's got some value. Paper is junk, though. But that product just sounded so cool. All right, man, that was your box. So I'll send you all the chrome and the auto. That was your auto, uh, Cam Gibson. Pull this guy a lot. So next, I'm gonna put this somewhere and tag it so I know it's you. Who's next? Ryan. And Ryan said he wanted box five. So that was the bottom one. Box five for the vagina. Could you imagine, dude, if we pulled like a like a Tris speaker? He said. One of the names he rattled off was Kid Nichols. I was like, holy shit. Fucking Kid Nichols. He said that um, the gold isn't priced by... What? I thought he said five. 
I swore you said five. Fuck. I'm sorry, dude. Um, he said he prices the gold like they're on that list by um, the value of the autos, not by necessarily the player. He, he goes the low end um, ones. He's like, yeah, my low end ones are like Maris and Mantle. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. You know a product's awesome when the low end auto in it is a Mickey Mantle. But, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Mickey Mantle, Stan Usual, shit like that. Those autos are all over the place. Flawless Soccer comes out on Wednesday, and to be honest with you, I mean, I'd like to break it in here because we do more soccer than other places, but I just don't think it's good value. Especially after Flawless Football. Flawless Football is stupid. Yeah, Ryan, every time I pick for you in a mini, your spot wins. So it might be good that I pick. Watch, there's probably a super in here. See some color. Yep. See? That's why you let me pick. Uh, Purple Woodford. Not a huge hit, but it's better than base. First round draft pick. I think he was a compensation pick. Purple Woodford. I hope box two has a super fractor in it. There's your hit. See? Nate will probably buy that off you. He doesn't already have it. Yeah, Nate will... He may already have it at this point, but you never know. Maybe he wants another one. This is a gray, uh, Lucas Herbert, Braves. Yeah, I definitely pulled a green one. That's probably you. I don't know. I still think this was a better checklist than 2016. I thought 2016's checklist was kind of weak. Who's next? Marcus? See some more color. There's a blue Lucas Williams Phillies out of 150. And that 
that's it. So you got the purple Jake Woodford. Not bad. Uh, yeah, the gray was numbered out of like four ninety nine or something like that. All right, you're up, Marcus. You are up. Got three boxes left. Which one do you want? Mr. Marcus. Oh, all right. Um, let me, let me PM them. He's not responding. What's up, Marcus? Yep, you're up. One through three. Which one do you want? Three. Then BDJ, and then the Mexican. I can't call him Cisco anymore because uh, that's too confusing with Rick now in the group. So from this point on, Cisco with a K will be referred to 
as the Mexican, or better yet, my Mexican. That's better. My Mexican is more appropriate. Can't, we can't use those names because then people are going to start thinking that Rick is a dick. And he's not. Not everybody knows that there's two Cisco's. So we have to make that clarification. So Rick will be Cisco. And Cisco with a K will be my Mexican. That way everybody will just know. Although we may run into some trouble because Jesus is Mexican. And people may think that I'm talking about him. But honestly, I don't think anybody's going to get Jesus mixed up with Cisco. Look at my Mexican. It's right over there, my Mexican. Isn't he great? Everybody loves my Mexican. I'm giving away this $100 break credit for the game tomorrow night. I, if I end up giving it away, I'll be surprised as shit. There isn't a chance in hell that we beat Argentina. I, I mean, it's, it's probably the biggest opportunity that the USA's had in I don't even know how long. But uh, Messi is insane right now. I have a feeling it's going to be a bloodbath. Here you go, Marcus. And your auto, it's Christian Stewart. So, so far we've had a Cam Gibson, a Christian Stewart, and a purple Jake Woodford. Two boxes left. Josh Naylor. It's not bad. That dude, <clears throat> if he works out, the guy's got a big bat to it. Alex Jackson. Blue Sapphire. A gray Cody Poteet out of 499. Last handful. All right, Marcus, that was your box. You got a Christian Stewart base auto. Cody Poteet played for you? That's awesome. I used to have some USA autos of him. Tops puts out that uh, USA set. Like the 
18 and under, 16 and under team. I actually think I have an Under Armour auto of him, too. All right. Brian Johnson. You are up. You get to pick from one of these two. <laughs> yeah, draft is tough, man. You can, it's so boom or bust. Jumbos are a little better because you got three shots. Um, and it's not that much more money. Um, hobby typically, the last couple years, especially in draft, has more color in it on average. But I can't say that with definitive like assurance that that's like typical. It's basically word of mouth, anecdotal. Because um, I've busted a lot of jumbo that's had lots of color. And I've busted a lot of hobbies that are just straight base. But a lot of people said that last year, especially the super jumbos, were total junk. It's a green, not auto, Dansby, out of 99. That's not a bad hit for no auto. Definitely worth grading. That's not bad at all. You should grade that. You might be able to get, like, solid 30, 40 bucks if it gems and he gets called up. I had, um, I graded a bunch of Benatendi base refractors, and um, most of them gemmed. I'm just going to sit on them until he gets called up, and you know those things will sell for 30, 40 bucks a pop if he comes up and does well. Center too. Looks like somebody else bought a spot in Leaf Treasury. So that's down to three. Can't tell who. I don't really know a lot about that. Um, I know it came out a few days ago. And it's all memorabilia. I know Casey won like a. Uh, Demarius Thomas autograph full size helmet. That's pretty cool. But I haven't really watched a bunch of breaks for that. But I keep getting asked about it, so I uh I got a box. This is Brian Johnson's. Now Brian does his own breaks. Um, it's a little eccentric. He breaks a lot of Vintage. Um, if you're into 1987 Fleer case breaks, that is your guy. He's got a special flair about his breaking style, too. Um, he does a lot of Christmas rack packs from 1981. I mean, I don't mean to plug his, uh, it's not bad. Um, his stuff too much, but uh, he won't mind. And your auto is a Kobe Allard refractor. <laughs> and 
I wonder if he's even going to be able to have a spot in the rotation after the Braves draft. I mean, their entire minor league system is starting pitchers now. If Cisco, if if we pull a monster card out of this last box and Cisco gets the big card, I'm going to be so happy on one end because, you know, we gave the really good card to a minority. So, you know, Bernie will be very happy with us. Uh, this is a DJ Stewart Gray paper out of four ninety nine. But on the other hand, it couldn't go to a bigger dickhead. The Mexican. I keep forgetting. We gotta call him the Mexican. Is he on? Where the hell is he? Is he picking strawberries? Come on, get on. All right, that's your box, DDJ. You did good. You got the green Swatson non-auto and uh, Kobe Allard refractor. Not bad. And our last box goes to my Mexican. Is, uh, Mexicano. I'm sure they say that for something. So Brian, how's uh how's Vintage House doing now that I'm gone? I just didn't have the time for it anymore, man. And I don't feel right admitting a group that I'm barely even active in anymore. I have members PMing me all the time asking me to approve prices and everything and I was like not able to answer their questions and it's just not right for me to be ignoring people Yeah, I figured it would be way better with me gone. <laughs> I, just, I thought it was pretty funny, though, that Greg and I sort of argued about um, pricing like a couple weeks ago, and I was like trying to get him, get everybody to like, agree that we shouldn't be so hardcore with VCP and he was so against it and then I stepped down as admin and the next day the rules changed and it's like oh we're, we're not going to be hardcore with VCP anymore and I'm like what the fuck that was my idea <laughs> and Derek Derek's comment was pretty funny Chandler came back when I left. What the fuck? He hated Greg, not me. All right. This is the Mexican box. I hope we pull zero Cubs, like not even a Cub Chrome.
<laughs> An out of 25 Garrett Whitley initiation. I don't know if these are worth anything. But it's out of 25. This was like some kind of insert that uh, uh, Bowman was trying to push really hard with draft and it bombed. auto yet. That'd be awesome if we had a box with no auto and with Cisco's. This is a gray David Dahl out of 499. That dude was supposed to be awesome, and he screwed up the beginning of his career getting drunk. Still no auto. Damn, can we? That would be so awesome if there was no auto in here. Oh, you fucker! You fucker! What an asshole! He gets not only a cub. But an orange auto. What a dickhead. Screw you, Mexican. I mean, it's only a Donnie Dewey's, but what a dick. He gets PC and a nice PC hit. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Talk about your luck. What a shithead. What a goddamn shithead. <laughs> and he's a freaking Cubs fan. Well, hey guys, we did a good deed. We gave away a free box for affirmative action, um, and Cisco got some PC, some nice PC. It's a nice hit, dude. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, the good Cisco. And uh, thanks, guys, for getting in breaks and stuff. And that's it. Uh, fuck you.